Stewart's makes a hell of a cup of coffee, but I definitely got to use the bathroom. Welcome to Black Friday. It's the day after Thanksgiving, uh, 2014. I did my retail shift last night. Just fine, whatever, I guess. Woke up this morning, though, and I saw there was a nice new Star Wars trailer online, or a teaser, whatever you want to call it. Now, let me give you my perspective as a Star Wars fan. I've been a Star Wars fan since about 1995, when they re-released the trilogy on VHS. It was the digitally, like, remastered ones. It wasn't the ones with the added scenes in it yet. The special editions hadn't come out. So from that point on, I was just a big fan of Star Wars. I was looking for all the Kenner toys all the time. That was one of my things. You don't know the hard life as a toy collector until you try and track down a Kenner, Power of the Force, Bespin, Luke Skywalker in a store because Big Bad Toy Store didn't exist. All that online retailers, none of them were around. So yeah, good luck finding that shit. Anyway, my point that I'm making now, seeing this trailer, I've got my hopes up and my excitement is kind of peaking, but at the same time, I lived through the disappointment of the prequel trilogy. And I did all the justification and all that stuff. I'm like, well, it's just different. That doesn't mean it has to be the same as the original Star Wars movies. It can be different, but it should at least be good. Now the prequels, you may have your own opinion on them. I personally think they're just kind of trash at this point. But this new one doesn't look like it's gonna be much like the prequels. Now granted, I've only seen this teaser, so I'm going by that. What we do know is it looks like they're going to be focusing on new characters. You only see a couple in the trailer. You see one guy come up and it looks like he has Stormtrooper armor on, but he doesn't have his helmet on. Historically, you don't see Stormtroopers without their helmet unless it's like a good guy character in disguise or something, like Han and Luke. I'm not talking about the clone troopers either, because everybody knows they're just clones of the bounty hunter and that's just what they are. They never have their helmets on. You see some character riding around on some kind of a giant ink cartridge, it looks like. I don't know what that's all about. And then you see what I assume is going to be our villain. Somebody with a red lightsaber with like two little, it almost looks like sword handle things that are like a lightsaber. I think it looks stupid, but you know what? It'll be fine. Whatever. It's fine. I'm used to gimmick lightsabers for the bad guys because in episode one, Darth Maul had his two-sided one. Uh, Count Dooku had like his kind of curved handle, like fencing style one. And then the Emperor had like kind of that short, really compact one that he could like tuck up in his sleeve or whatever. So whatever, all the bad guys ever since Darth Vader have all had unique red lightsabers. So whoever this is, they're gonna have like a sword handle thing too. It's gonna look stupid to me, but whatever, I don't care. I'm kind of hoping we don't see as much lightsabers in these movies coming out because every single thing in the prequels had lightsabers. You couldn't go five minutes in Revenge of the Sith without some character having a lightsaber. Small children in Attack of the Clones just using lightsabers in a crowded classroom. Bullshit. Why is this fucking guy in the road? Are you serious? Why was he just in the road? But getting back to the new teaser, um, I saw the Millennium Falcon. I'm excited. I saw TIE Fighters. That really got me excited because even though TIE Fighters are like the worst ships in the entire empire, like, I don't care because I like them. I like the noise they make when they fly by. I like the noises the guns make. I'm a big fan of the TIE Fighters, what can I say? I like how they didn't try and redesign new ships like for, you know, the newer generation of Star Wars. They're just like, screw this. We got good designs. We got classic ships. Let's just use them, you know, might as well. Besides that, I really don't have much to go by. Again, like I said, it was only a teaser trailer. So, I mean, I haven't been reading all the news, keeping up with it. So I don't know any of these new characters, who they are, or what they're gonna be, what their roles are gonna be in the movie, none of that. You also don't see Han Solo or Luke Skywalker, or any of the old characters pop up in the trailer. So I'm wondering if their roles in the movie is gonna be like, just kind of cameo appearances, or like if they're gonna be, I don't know, like just minor characters they're going to be used to kind of promote the newer characters, which I think they should. You don't need to see like a 70 year old Han Solo being a hero. I don't, that's not what I want. As far as I can tell, it looks like it might be kind of promising. I've been disappointed by Star Wars for the past friggin' 15 years. I think it's finally time for something good to come out of it. I mean, Star Wars prequels, they had a few cool things about them, but for the most part, nah. I mean, yeah, Darth Maul, he was cool, but then he died. Awesome. Don't any of you people try and tell me that he came back after the Clone Wars with robot legs and he fought Obi-Wan in the cartoons and all that. Because now that Disney bought the rights to Star Wars, none of that shit matters anymore. They got rid of all the expanded universe stuff. It's all gone. So, you know, take your fucking robot Darth Maul and shove it up your ass. Anyway, the new trailer, I'm excited. And I can admit, I'm fully expecting to be disappointed. 
you know, I'm willing to give it another chance. It's it's like an abusive relationship. Star Wars just keeps kicking me when I'm down, and yet I can't seem to turn my back on it because I love it too much. What are your thoughts? I want to open up a discussion. Do you like the new trailer? Are you going to be excited when it comes out? Are you going to go see it? Maybe you hate Star Wars and none of this matters to you. Well, I appreciate you watching regardless. I want to thank everybody who watched my first vlog too about Sting and the WWE Survivor Series. I got a lot of great conversation on, uh, you know, through YouTube and on my website, CaptainMcKay.com, which you should go check out, by the way. But uh, yeah, a lot of people seem to enjoy it, so I'm going to keep going with some of these vlogs in between animating. I don't think it's going to slow down my animating. This is just something to keep me busy. As you can see, I'm driving home to see my family. And obviously, I wouldn't be animating doing this right now, so this is just something else for me to do in the meantime. If you have anything to add to this discussion, please leave a comment. Let me know what you think. You like Star Wars? You hate Star Wars? You excited about the new movie? You got a favorite character that you think you want to see in it? Lay it on me. I'm all ears. I'm ready to discuss this with you guys. Also, just me, Nesto, too. Happy birthday, buddy. Get me your uh, address at some point. I'll send you something. All right. Later on.